right now uh, we're looking at Randy's. This is Randy's boat. This is the boat that Randy's family gave me about 15 years ago after my friend passed away from cancer at the age of 60. The uh, boat was all the wood in the boat. It's a fiberglass boat, 11 and a half foot dinghy. All the wood on the boat was completely rotten. There was one or two pieces I was able to salvage. I was able to salvage the rudder and the um, dagger board and the piece in the bow with the hull for the mast, but I was not able to salvage the tiller, the gunnels, the seats, or any of that. So that was all that, which at one time was all mahogany, was replaced, I replaced because the mahogany was too expensive. I replaced it with Spanish cedar. The stern, as you can see, is the classic wine glass stern. It's got the classic seating arrangement of a turn of the century dinghy. The hull itself is a probably three eighths of an inch glass. And you can see these bronze straps. These are original that hang from the gunnels that support the seats. These, this piece here and this piece where the uh, hole for the mast is, is original mahogany. Those, those I was able to save. This piece is Spanish cedar. And you can see where the, the um, fiberglass is sandwiched in between the two pieces of the mahogany for the gunnels. Yellow pine, a piece of hard white yellow pine I had. And uh, that was all rebuilt because this fiberglass underneath here was very thin. So I had to build that up with a bunch of layers of fiberglass. And then I mounted this with 5200. Some of the things I want to do, I want to get some storage. As you can see right now, the anchor just sits in the bottom of the boat. That's not ideal. I've got to figure out some kind of storage for that. Water tends to accumulate down here. I don't know. I think Randy had originally had floorboards. I don't have any for it. One of the mistakes I made when I rebuilt this was I varnished everything. Well, first I epoxied it and I varnished it. The epoxy the first time around, uh, because it didn't have a lot of UV protection, all turned milky white. So I had to sand all that epoxy off. And then I put a couple of more coats of varnish, which you can see is not very well done. It's kind of thick. Then over here, it's actually uh, has come off. So I would have, if should have, could have, would have, I would have done a boat soup or a teak, probably a teak oil for the interior and a boat soup for the uh, gunnels. So the boat is uh, in good shape. Um, I've never taken it out. I've never rowed it. I've never sailed it. So this is the first time I've really had a chance to do that. I was working full time for about 10 of those years. And then the last couple of years, we had a lot of work I've been doing on the paint in the house here. And, um, you know, taking care of other business. Okay, so the boat is ready to be towed over to the West Mystic Wooden Boat Company. Got some temporary lights hooked up. You can see the cables. Because the lights that are on the trailer don't work. I'll have to take those off before we put them in the water because they belong to a friend of mine who lent them to me and I don't want to get them wet. So we're headed over to the West Mystic Wooden Boat Company now. It's about, uh, well, maybe, I don't know, 18 miles as the crow flies from uh, Avondale, where we are, or Mesquamica, where we are. So uh, really excited. Andrew and uh, Dean came over with a truck and uh, picked up the boat, and uh, we're going to put her in the water. So we finally made it over to the West Mystic Wooden Boat Company, or Boat Yard, as it's known. Uh, that's where the dory's going. That's where Randy's boat is ending up. And uh, we'll take a look, meet some of the people here, and see what's going on.
Yay! So get ready, we're gonna go have some fun on the river, do some rowing, a little sailing, a little exploring, a little history, and uh, we'll see you then.